Hey guys, um, in this video, we're going to learn how to add a DSCP role to our Active Directory, to our Windows Server here. So as you know, in most of the scenarios, we have our Windows Server as the DSCP server in our network or in our maybe in our setup. So the same case will apply here. We're going to hide a DSCP role and configure this Active Directory server to hack as our DCP server and distribute IP addresses automatically to all other hosts in that network, right? So to add a DCP um, role, we just click on add roles, okay? Just click on add role, go to dashboard, then click add roles, okay? And the most important thing before you can even start adding roles, before you can add a DCP role on a Windows server is to ensure that the computer actually is having a static IP address. So let's test IP config. Yep. So to test whether the computer is having a static IP address, just right click on the uh, the network icon there, then open network and uh, the, uh, the, the, the sharing center. Change adapter settings and uh, right click there, go to properties and go to IP version 4, TCP that one, okay? Then click. So you see actually our computer is having a dynamic IP address, but we want it to have a static IP address before we can add a DCP role and configure it, okay? All right. So to add a static uh, IP, first of all, you should uh, check the IP address that it's using. Remember, we've configured a DDS and DNS. So the DNS name actually is using is using this IP address as the DSC, as the DNS server. So you have to issue this IP address strictly. Okay. So you can see it's 198, 192.168.88. 128. So just come to static and it's 192.168.88.128. Uh, so, okay, all right. And then, uh, submit mask, you mean that one? Then you see 192.168.88.2. Then the most important part actually is the DNS server. The DNS server should be the Active Directory IP address. This is this Windows server will act as our DNS server and our DCP server. All right? Okay. So it should be one twenty two one sixty eight eighty eight dot one twenty eight. It should be the same. Okay. It should be the same. Okay. It's the same uh, actually DNS server, right? Okay, and close. All right, so I think we are now free to go ahead and uh, uh, now IP config all. Yep, I want to see the DNS name. Yeah, that's okay. DNS name you see it's here 128, and the IP address is also 128. That's okay. You have to ensure that you configure the previous IP address and that same IP address should be the DNS server, right? Okay, because it's this Windows server that it's the DNS server in this network, right? Okay, so let's proceed to add a DNS a role, I mean the DSCP role in our Active Directory or in our Windows server. So just click Add Roles, click Next. It's role based, just proceed Next. Yeah, we're going to choose, uh, you see, the server. The server is 88.128. That's why you have to configure it statically and have the DNS server to be the same IP address, okay? Right. So what are we going to uh, install the DSCP server? We're going to install the DSCP server, the DSCP role, okay? Uh, no static IP address found in this computer. You see, I've just changed it, but I don't know why, why it's not actually... Um, reflecting so 
I'll just change it. It's now static, if you, and, and you can even confirm. So I think it's it is not uh, synced actually. Okay, yeah, it's uh, it's static, so no problem. We'll just continue, right? Because we've changed it. But if we didn't change it, oh, uh, we are, we could not be allowed to proceed. All right. So click next, click next, click next and restart the server automatically if required, which is very important. It doesn't mean that we need to do it manually. Okay, so let's just wait until the installation is done. Then uh, we'll proceed to configure the DSCP server on the Windows server. Okay, so uh, the installation is done, so just click close. Uh, okay, this one are the network configuration. Yeah. So we can see our DCP uh, role is always is ready here, but we can see this orange um, flag up here, telling us to complete DCP configuration. So just click on complete DCP configuration and click next. And um, yeah, we're going to use uh, administrators the username and commit. That's okay and close. Nice, All right? Okay, so let's now configure the DSCP server. How are we going to configure the DSCP server? Click on the DSCP, then right click here and go to DSCP manager. It's here now. Go to, well, let me expand this. You see our domain name is here. So the DSCP uh, is the DSCP server will be under our gtech.test, which is our domain name, okay? Right, or DNS name, okay? Right, so this is where we're going to create pools. It's very, very important that uh, when you know you're creating a DCP, you know that you create a DCP pools where IP addresses are actually list from. So we're going to create IPv4 pool. So right click on the IPv4 and just click on new scope, okay? Click next and name it uh, maybe GTH, GTH users, okay? That's okay. Um, users, no problem. Or you can skip the description and go next. Now, we're being told to enter start IP address. Remember, our start IP address uh, we have IP address of uh, maybe we have IP address or a block of 192.168.88.0 slash 24 based on this thing this here this tells us that we have IP address I mean the side range of 192.168.88.0 slash 24 okay so when you come back to DSCP configuration, the start IP address should be 12168.88.0 uh, and end IP address as you know is 192.168.88.254 slash 24, right? Then go next. Then we're being asked to um, add exclusions and delay. Execution address are a range of addresses that are not distribu distributed by the server. Yeah, we want to add particular IP addresses that uh, such that the server should not distribute them to clients. So, for example, let's say we want to add uh, maybe from one and two, one eight, eighty eight to one, or from one to maybe one and two, one six eight, eighty eight to 10 okay then add another one that you want to add is the server IP address provide that the server IP address is actually not within 1 to 10 range it's actually 1 128 so you can just add it manually 192 168 88 128 and just add it as a 1 okay all right, so it should not actually lease any IP address within dot one to dot ten and also the server IP address. Okay, 
So any IP address from .11 to 127 and from 129 to 254 can be leased to clients, right? Just click next. And uh, the list days, eight hours is okay. So after, um, let's say, um, the DCP actually has uh, offered you IP address today. After eight uh, days, the lease period will expire and it will offer you a new IP address or the same IP address based on maybe um, the DCP configuration, right? Okay, click next. Yes, I want to configure this scope now, right? Okay, and uh, a route IP address. It's very important to specify your default gateway here. So our default gateway here, as you can see on the PowerShell here, is the default gateway here. So we just, it's 80.88.2. .80 so 102, 168.88.2. We only have one default gateway, right? Okay, click next. And this is our server. The server actually is having the GTH dot, dot test actually, the PRDS of the Windows server, okay? That's okay, just click next. We don't need Win servers for now, so just skip. And do you want to activate this scope now? Yes, I want to activate that scope now. Click next and finish. So guys, basically, uh, as you can see, we've created a, a scope. And when you analyze this scope, when you analyze this scope, you can see address pools here. From 1 to 224, I mean 254, the IP address that can uh, I mean the start and the end uh, end IP addresses and the IP address that cannot be given out are from 88.1 to 88.10 and also 88.128 because 88.128 is the IP address of the Active Directory server, okay? All right, so here also you can go under list IP addresses and you see them You can go to reserved you can choose to reserve IP address here so that that IP address do, don't be list out All right and you see also scope option. Scope option tells us that the default router is this one, the default gateway, and our DNS server is this one. The domain name is this one, which is very, very important. And actually, as per now, we've not configured any policy, right? Okay, so the next step, guys, is, all, is only to join this computer to the domain, the Windows client here, and test if the DSCP is working. So in the next video, we're going to join this computer to the domain, actually, and test if the DSCP is working, okay? All right, so thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, thank you.